Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, the Boomsday set has arrived, and I'm a little bit slow on it, but my video is out, so let's go ahead and try out the arena and see how I can lose in a new cycle. Um, Abomination, 6-6 six, six for 7, at the end of your turn deal 2 damage to all other damaged minions. So it doesn't hurt itself. Uh, whatever, it's a new card, let's just take it. Or, what's, what's this? 8 cost paladin sword, 3-4, when your hero attacks, give your minions plus 1, plus 1, that's all your minions. Uh, let's, let's take the silver sword. That seems... Is it gonna pay off? I don't know, it's pretty super expensive, but whatever. Spark drill. 5-1 rush, death rattle, add two one one sparks with rush to your hand. Okay, well, I mean, that's like a... Sort of expensive way to kill a minion, but interesting. Let's take uh, let's take an adaptation. It's not the, probably not the best, but still fond of noble sacrifice. Uh, not fond of you guys. Uh, Acidic Swamp Ooze seems by far the best out of those guys. What's this one? I haven't played with a lot of the paladin stuff in the last set. So I'm going to 2-2 Spirit with Taunt, and then Restore 3 Health to upgrade. Paladins don't have a lot of Restore Health stuff. I mean, some of it, they have some, but it's often strong, but... Or End of Turn Effects trigger twice. So I could have taken that with the uh, the Worgen guy and had him go Psycho, but... Um... Let's take a Blessing of Might, actually. Give your silver hand recruits plus two plus two and taunt. You gotta have out a bunch of those guys. I don't know. Just got one two stealth divine shield for two. Uh, I guess his point is he can sit around and receive buffs. So let's try it out. I don't know. My first instinct was that's terrible. My second instinct is eh, he's pretty survivable to hang around and receive buffs, but I don't know if that's good. Um. Lifesteal Peasant's not bad. These guys aren't great, so let's take him. I don't know if he's that great either. So this is not a good place to put it buffs to attack, but otherwise, you know, no, he's still not that good. Let me just take it on his 512 taunt for 6, but deals 6 damage to itself when it comes out. So it's a 5-6 taunt for 6 that is much better if you're like a priest or something. Let's take this anyway, because these are not my favorite other cards, that's for sure. And there should be mech synergy stuff in the new set. I literally haven't looked at the new set. I normally follow them when they're coming out. I was busy with my video. Busy making Legends of the Red Sash, which I hear is okay. Um, three minions that cost two or less. Recruit is into play. It's that's interesting, but these two guys are so good. I don't think I can take that. I want the hydrologist secret tech. We'll take the hydrologist. Another big taunt that has like reduced hit points based on something. You are two one for five. Summon two one two mechs with taunt and divine shield. Oh, so it's a two one that comes with two annoyatrons. I'll take that. That's a battle cry. Yeah. That seems really solid. I have very few complaints about that. We'll see it in action, but like that's that's like a lot of tauntage. Um, a lot of taunt plus a two one to sort of fill out your stats. Uh, the Paragon of Light, right? While it has three or more attack, it has taunt and life steal, so it's a very good buff recipient. And it's a two five for three. I mean, I should. Probably take the Hammer of Wrath to hit things, but I think I'm going to take this and go for try and find more like minion buffs, even though that's usually a bad plan. Speaking of bad plans, all of you, you are all terrible. I mean, I guess I could take this and use it to repair the damage Stegadon, in which case it's two cards just for that. Uh, we'll take that Panther. He can kill something. I'm not getting the cards I want. Uh, at all. Oh, another one of these. This is the same as the Hunter in the last row. It's just slightly switched and still crap. Well, I guess I'm taking you, because you don't need the redemption, I don't think. And then, yeah, the way the arena works now, it, like, it tries to put all the good stuff in one row and all the bad stuff in one row. So you get, like, good rows and bad rows. This is a good row, 
Uh, we're going to take the Stonehill Defender, even though Hydrologists are great. Carpetal Imposter. 4-4 four, for four, 4. Gain Stealth until your next turn when he comes out. Oh, Steel Rager is a 5-1 Rush. So he comes out and he kills something. I'm going to take that. I should probably take the mech in case I get to mech synergy stuff, but I don't have that many yet. Whatever. I'm going to take the Steel Rager to kill stuff for me. It's not charged, so I can't hit players, but it comes out and kills a minion. Ish. Um, 2-2 two, two for 2, give your weapon plus 1 attack. My only weapon's super expensive, so that doesn't really count. 3-4 three, for 3, add a random 2-cost minion to each player's hand. Ah, stupid helping the opponent. Here, we'll take Giganto. Bone champion, pretty good. Light Fuse, stick it on. Adapt your Silver Hand recruits. I don't have good Silver Hand tech, but I think I'm going to take this anyway, just in case. Because it could work out amazing. Um, Mastodon is pretty good. Because I'm going to need some late game stuff. Turning spells cost five more next turn. I don't see that as being super. That's not very arena y to me. And there's that thing. Yeah, Mastodon. You know, it's very expensive. Uh, see, I don't need you, because I took the Steel Rager. I, yes, this can actually, like, kill your opponent, which is super, super valuable, but for killing, mi if you have to use it to kill a minion, the Steel Rager is the same thing for, like, two mana less, which is, like, a lot less. Well, let's take another Blessing of Might, because I've got a lot of buff recipients, but Blessing of Mites are not the ideal minion buff, by any stretch. Okay, Dino Size, amazing. Primordial Drake, excellent. Arcane Dynamo... 3-4 for 6, Battle Cry, discover a spell that costs 5 or more. So I can get a dinosaur, Dino Size, or a 3-4 for 6 that gives me a Dino Size. Maybe. Um, Dino Size itself is pretty awesome. I think, even though I'm making him sound too effective, because I'm obviously not reliably going to get Dino Size from him, I'm going to take him anyway, because I think that, that feels very strong, that flexibility. Anoi O module. So it's a 2 4 Anoiatron for 4, which is magnetic. And magnetic means that, yeah, it, if you have another mech out, this will just, you just play this, play this to the left of a mech to fuse them together. So you can merge this with another mech and have it assume all the stats, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, add the stats and abilities and stuff. Um, do I want that? I don't have a lot of mechs. I could have had several, but as it is, I just have Steel Rager is technically one, and Stegotron. I mean, if I had a Steel Rager out that was not dead for some reason, then I could cast the Inoyo module and turn him into a 7-5 Divine Taunt rush. That'd be pretty cool, but I think we're just going to take the Hammer of Wrath, because I didn't, I passed on some previous one. Dark Conviction, pretty good... I mean, well, okay, it's not my favorite, but it's really flexible. I think I'm just going to take the Fallen Sun Cleric. It's very straightforward and nice. Um, I don't like any of you. I don't have the spell damage. Like, this is this guy's actually a solid minion. I just don't have the spell damage for this deck to care about it. Yeah. All pretty poor. There was something you could have buffed a weapon that would have been good with Light's Justice. Let's let's just take the Apple Bomb. I don't have that many intermediate guys. I do have a fair amount of taunt, I think. Okay. So, we've got a mech row here. So this guy, again, he's a 4-4 who's just stealth the turn he comes into play. So he, he's, he is actually kind of a good buff target. This can kill a minion for me. 2-2 two, two for 3. Death Rattle deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. Let's take the Kaboom Bot. It's, it's fun. Explodinator. He's a 3-2 for 4, summon 2, zero, 2 Goblin Bombs. Goblin Bomb does... I think it explodes for damage to your opponent. It's like the new Leper Gnomes. Uh, so I don't know how worthwhile that is. Well, then again, I have some things that would... I, I need buff targets. I have the sort of buff all my minions. Uh, let's just take it. Whatever. Destroy all other minions with two or less attack. Uh, that's going to be risky. Let's take the Spellbreaker so we have something that can silence. There's a Goblin Bomb, yeah. Zero, two for one, deal two damage to the enemy hero. whoop de doo um, I've got some big guys, so I'm not desperate for him. I mean, I guess I probably need more, but I don't like him that much anyway. Let's take the Bluegill Warrior. He kills stuff. 
Um, oh man. Why why is Croc if if the character's supposed to be of equal quality, why is Crocolisk in the same row as these guys? Because he is pretty good fatness for late game. And he, while not fat, can often generate a circumstance that is difficult for some arena decks to deal with. A lot of arena decks just won't have all that much removal. You might not be able to get rid of the, him just spawning continuous taunts. Like a dick. So both of those are pretty interesting. Um, I think I have a fair amount of taunt. Ah, oh, man. I mean, the lockdown is nice, but I think I'm going to take the Threshadon for fatness. Wait, actually kill my opponents. Three silver hand recruits your hand. I don't have too many things that benefit from that. I could have another one here. Walnut Sprite is flexible, though. We like the echo. And equality, Sigidon. Replicating Menace. He's a 3 1 for 4, magnetic. And when he dies, he summons three 1 1 microbots. That doesn't sound like a replicating. Like, that's a pretty short replication cycle. When it was called Replicating Menace, I assumed it was, like, recursive, but apparently not. 3 1 for 4, and you get 3 1 1s, and he's got the magnetic thing, which I don't think I can value too highly in this deck anyway. Because the thing is, this guy is not adding much to whatever guy he attaches himself to, unless it was like a low attack, high hit point thing, in which case his 3 attack is nice, but yeah, he doesn't seem like magnetic on him is weird. Uh, equality or stick. <laughs> Quality. Yeah, that definitely wasn't just a sneeze pick. Okay, um, I did not get good minion buffs. I have a bunch of guys that want minion buffs, and I have a couple of minion buffs, which are mostly just Blessing of Might, which is, it's okay. Like, I, I took it because there's good value to being able to slap that on something and kill an enemy, but usually it's a trade. Unless I can put it on one of my divine boat, divine uh, shield things, which I have several, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I was really hoping for some better minion buffs, and they did not come along. Because there's some great ones. Uh, I just realized that I've got stuff running probably that messed with my internet. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, so I forgot that I have a VPN now, so I I I pretty much just have to turn it off in order to do anything that requires bandwidth, like playing Hearthstone against other people. <sighs> Let's see, anything that requires bandwidth is unfair, but there definitely Hearthstone and some other games do not seem to like being on the VPN. Ooh. Or maybe it, it, that may just be because my internet is pretty trash anyway. But yeah, let's find us an opponent. Get crushed by cards I've never seen before because I have not actually looked at the set list for this expansion. Uh, we don't need starting hand equality. The other two are... Eh. How, the other two are like a combo if I play them in the wrong order. I guess I could just make it one more. Because if I plus one, plus one her, then she's got taunt and lifesteal, and suddenly it's pretty effective. Although that's probably not an efficient play if the warlock is trying to be remotely fast. Welch. In turn. Options. No, still no permit squelch. Figured they would have mentioned it in the patch notes, but you never know. Alright, build up cards. Opponent's just gonna build up cards. What are you gonna do? Sitting there thinking he was gonna coin out a 3 1, and now this like 1 1 is thwarting him. He's like, no! Many possibilities. I broke your tune. So, planning on playing today? Apparently not. Planning on trying to fake me out into thinking he's disconnected? No, he's just gonna draw more cards. Okay. Alright. 
have a hidden hit points now. Hooray! I like the opponent's slow start, uh, but it also concerns me because I wouldn't be surprised if their deck is better, better in late game than mine. Although my hand is pretty friggin' heavy duty late game. What's that? Just healing yourself. Okay. Well. Bam. I could Blessing of Might and kill his dude. I don't think I will, though. Resist my temptation to just, like, always spend my hand to kill whatever's on the board. If he hits my 3-6, he doesn't accomplish much. I mean, he's, if he hellfires afterwards, then he does. But, eh. These things happen. And the hellfire is... Oh, that. Interesting. Didn't see that coming so much, but uh, okay. Uh, so I'm not getting anything out of her powers. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I didn't. I did not see the chain prospectors or whatever the fungus hit heads going. That that surprises me slightly, but that's no, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna continue the uh, beat down, I guess. Be done not that severe, but seems like momentum, and also punishes my opponent more for drawing cards. Unless all of his cards are friggin' Shroom Brewers, in which case he'll just keep healing through it. So he can easily kill What's Her Taunt, her life still having accomplished nothing in life. Okay, that's kind of potentially annoying. Arcane Dynamo, well, I'd like to cast that now, but it's probably not the best. So this is, I gotta remember, this is just a 5-6 taunt. It's not that impressive. I think, like, I could silence that and keep attacking through. I think I'm going to Blessing of Might, my guy. I mean, Tree Guy would be easy to take out, but my opponent's at half health. I don't know. Okay, please don't give you something good. Oh, god damn it. That's inconvenient. So, this guy can't even stand up to that. That's pretty sad. This would give me, like, an expensive spell, but I still have to cast it at some point. Not free. This guy just gets his ass kicked. That's the problem. Hmm. Apparently, I should have silenced the other guy. I don't know. I, I think think it would have ended up about the same. Like I could play him and this, but then I'm totally wasting his power. If I play this guy or this guy, I'm wasting a mana, and this guy's not going to accomplish much. I think I'm going to go with this, even though he's also not going to accomplish much. <laughs> on hands. I'm not really hurt. Take the call to arms, the card that I skipped earlier. Holy Wrath's not going to do that much damage. All my expensive guys are in my hand. Uh, I got a lot of cards. I'm going to take the call to arms, actually. No dumb it be. So he can just take apart my army now. If he has any cards, it'll be even easier. Ah, oh, goddammit, he's got his own one of those. That's inconvenient. Yep, inconvenient. So I could do this and this, but I don't know if that's going to help my position much. I can't take down those crap guys very well. I can go two of these and pop one of them. I mean, I could silence the other one, but then it doesn't do anything much for me. I guess we're going to do that. Uh, 
I could have hit that the bubble with my one one, but I don't know. Anything it hits there is going to be worthwhile except the six six. Yeah, if he's he's not going to spend his six six attacking my one one, that's for sure. So, he's he's in a good place to reverse things. Yeah, see, I'm fine with that trade. That's fine. Or maybe it's dumb because I'm not going to be able to attack through that guy. I don't know. That is a fair amount of stuff you've got there. Ow. Yeah, I maybe did not plan that very well. Yeah, I have to play this or I'm going to get my ass kicked, which means I really should have popped the bubble. Boo. Oh, I'm just dead. God damn. Yeah, no, I, uh... I mean, popping the bubble wasn't the end of the world, but I'm not sure. I, whatever I did, I didn't do it right. Off to a great start. I have been losing a lot in the arena lately. We'll see if it continues next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.